So um, we're here in Tel Aviv where we've received some information that was very interesting around uh, a version of Eurovision that has Target on the U.S. Um, if you could just introduce yourself and maybe tell us a little um, bit about it. Yeah, I'm, my name is Anders Lernhoff. I've uh, been the show producer of the Eurovision Song Contest uh, and I've worked with the Swedish quali qualifier and quite yeah. a few times. Uh, right now, me and my colleagues, Christer Björkman, Ola Melzig, uh, and a fourth partner called Peter Setman have acquired the rights for uh, the United States for the Eurovision format right. in cooperation with a production company called Brain Academy. Yep. Uh, so we're aiming for, we'd like to have this on the air in 2021, maybe 2022. Yeah. So the first question that a lot of fans are going to wonder about is, what kind of geographic breakout are you thinking about? Is it a regional thing or...? It's definitely a regional. The question is regional on which, on what level. Right. Yeah, it's, let's put it this way. We actually got the contract. We've been negotiating with the EBU for a year, uh -huh. actually since before Portugal. And uh, we got the contract signed two weeks ago. Okay. So basically we start working when we wake up Sunday morning or maybe Monday morning. I, Okay, great. Uh, but so it's not that it's not that structured yet. Yep. I mean, we ob obviously we have a lot of thoughts, but that uh -huh. also depends a lot on uh, who's going to broadcast this. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, so obviously broadcast is a big question. Yeah. Another question I think of immediately is we go back to when Eurovision started. Really, it was about bringing countries together through music. How are we going to translate that to potentially the American market? There certainly is a need for it. <laughs> So, yeah. w would that be one of the principles of... I think so. I mean, I, I think that's the reason we love, I mean, all of us, the four of us, we really love Eurovision. Yeah. I mean, we've all been involved in it and it's like, it's one of the, it's sort of, the, it's the most exciting thing you can work with in television, really. Mm -hmm. We hope there will be another thing which is just exciting, yeah. but right now, it's not. Uh, and I think that's one of the reasons why we love it. I, lo I love the thought of it. Yeah. The idea of bringing together and I think that if you can find something that appeals to a lot of people, regardless of their views yeah. uh, or segment in society, that itself has a uniting factor. Uh, I mean, it would be really pretentious to say that we want to unite the United States. I think that's yeah. sort of... Somebody over. else's job. <laughs> yeah, that's not for us. But I, I, I do believe and, and that's sort of our ambition is to carry the values from the Eurovision right. Song Contest that would be really to important. the new one and that's not a, that's not just important to us that's really important to the EBU right. that's literally part of our contract are you worried about how the brand may be potentially tarnished by trying to replicate it somewhere else no okay and what type of uh, kind of organic. Well, actually, I can sort of I can elaborate on that a yeah, bit. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think that that has to do with it has to be on the same level right. as Eurovision. Yeah. Otherwise, yes, that would be a problem. But uh, really, really, our ambition is to put it on that um, on the same level of ambition. I mean, we've been there. We have actually done this. So that's we want. We know what to do. We know how we want to do it. So now, you know that American Eurovision fans are really only diehard fans, because if they're paying attention from the US, they have to be really, really into it. Yeah. Are you going to rely on that kind of captive audience to help get out the enthusiasm around it? I hope so. I Actually, I would say that we want to engage fans from all over. I was speaking to somebody else yesterday, uh, or at the press conference, I think, that saying that we need the fans. I mean, we need not just the American fans. We need as many fans as possible, and right. we, because we, Eurovision is about the fans. That's sort of that's one of the really unique things about sure. it. So, I made a solemn promise yesterday that we will we will make it easy for the diehard fans to get there. Somehow, we'll facilitate that. Mm -hmm. We will because we need the fans to be up front. We need the fans to the fans to show the new audience what this is about. So I write for ESC Plus. Um, should I go ahead and register ASC Plus um, as a domain? <laughs> if 
You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm I, I'm here. I'm going to try to help out. So I guess I should. Please do. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the <laughs> thank time. Thank you. I look forward to hearing more. Thanks. All right.